Hello and welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial we shall be uh, creating the chemical toning effects uh, of both sepia tone and blue tone. Now sepia tone adds warmth and is a very traditional technique and blue is, is much cooler and uh, uh, provides a more moody effect. So both have their purpose, uh, they're both very different uh, but this is a traditional technique uh, first used in the dark room. Now before we begin, make our screens look the same, window workspace essentials. Next step, open a suitable image for the effect. Now you need to be thinking whether your image will suit being sepia or blue. In this tutorial we shall be looking at both and you can decide for yourself. Now it's important when you're working with this tutorial to make sure that the image mode is set to RGB. Now we want a black and white picture as you can see here but we are in RGB mode which will allow us to add colour uh, to the image. Next thing is I'm going to tell you uh, a couple of ways of doing this. Uh, the first method is by using photo filters. So if we look in the adjustment layer here we have different filters which you can place over your image. You can select from lots of preset filters. Uh, all very effective, all work well. Uh, if you select sepia you can change the density, change the strength of that effect. Now this is a good method, but I like to have a bit more control over my, uh, my, my toning effects. So I'm going to quite simply click and drag the layer here and pop it into the bin and we're going to start again. Now we're going to use curves adjustment layers to create this effect. So again in the adjustments layer palette, click on curves and you're going to be using uh, the channels. So where we have RGB here, if you click on RGB and select firstly the blue channel, we want to pull the blue channel down to add yellow to our image. So the yellow green, so I pull that down and then select the red channel and we're going to pull it up to add some red to that image. And we have a very strong effect here. Now we can tweak that now by going down to the layers palette and dropping the opacity so the strength of the effect is reduced. Now the reason I like using this method is because you have control over both the reds and the yellows which uh, you know, in effect gives you a much much better end result. So that's sepia. Let's uh, turn the eye and uh, the visibility off on that layer so we can be working again with, with a black and white image. I would like you to add another curves adjustment layer. This time we're aiming for the blue tone effect. Now for blue, again select the, uh, the channels. We're going to go for a blue channel which we curve up to add blue. Next is to select the red channel and this time we're going to pull it down. Okay, so it's giving us a nice tone. Now the traditional blue tone uh, has a, a cyan effect, so it's not a deep blue, it's a nice sky blue. Again, you can drop the opacity just to tweak that effect. So not too much, not too little. And there we have it. That's our blue tone effect. So black and white, sepia, and blue tone. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy the tutorial. Have fun.